What we're going to be going over here is the cash budget and we'll look at how we set up this cash budget and how we calculate it. So starting with our budgets, we start with our master budget and then under our master budget we're going to have our operating budget and our financial budget. So under our financial budget, this is where we're going to have our cash budget. So looking at this cash budget, what's going to be happening to it? We're going to have collections coming into the cash budgets and those are going to be coming from uh, the sales budget or our sales here under our operating budget so we're going to have those cash collections coming into our cash budget and then our outflows to our cash budget there's going to be payments or expenditures that are going to have to be made to our selling and administration area here uh, and that's going to go uh, those are going to be coming from our selling and administration budget here and then we also have payments that are going to have to be made to uh, to all those production operations for our direct materials or direct labor and our factory overhead. So this is our cash budget is underneath our financial budget so we're going to have to determine the collections or the monies coming into the cash budget in terms of cash and also the cash uh, payments or expenditures that are going out of the cash budget and those are going into again all these production budgets underneath here. So what we have in order to develop our cash budget we're going to have to know all these uh, under our, we're going to have to know all our budgets under our operating budget here as far as our sales those are going to have to be developed before we can determine our cash budget or sales budget and also all those production budgets and our selling and administration budgets so under our production budget we're going to have to know our direct materials direct labor and factory overhead in order that we can determine the cash that's going to be flowing out of the cash budget into those production budgets so cash budget is like uh, one of the last budgets that we have to develop. So we're going to have to know those all our operating budgets underneath here, underneath our operating budget before we can determine our cash budget. Okay, so let's just go down here and let's look at what would be included in our cash budget. So we'd start with our first step here. This is where we have to determine our budgeted cash that's available. And that would equal, we have to know our beginning beginning cash balance and then we'd have to add to it the budgeted cash collections and those would be from our sales here and then the second step what we would do is we have to determine our budgeted cash excess or deficiency if there's any and that would equal the budgeted cash available budgeted cash available that we calculated up here in our first step and then we'd have to subtract from that our budgeted cash payments that would be made to uh, in this case, the direct materials, direct labor, factory overhead, and also those selling and administrative expenses. And then knowing our budgeted cash excess or deficiency, then we can determine our ending cash balance. And that would equal our cash excess or deficiency that we calculated in our second step here. And we'd have to add to it our borrowings for the period here and then subtract out any repayments including any interest that we'd have. Okay, so that's our basics here for a cash budget. Okay, so now let's just go through here and let's look at, we've been going through a number of videos here for all these budgets here, and these are where these numbers are gonna come off of for this cash budget. We're gonna be looking at it just for one month here, uh, the March, a month of, months of excuse me, the month of March here for that period. But you'd have to develop your cash budget for each of the months of the year here. So we'll just go through it and you get an idea what's going into your cash budget. So first for your collections or inflows, you start with again our step one here, A here where you have budgeted the budgeted cash that's available. You have to know what your beginning cash balance is. In this case, it was $100,000. And then we'd have to add to it our budgeted cash collections. And those would come off our sales budget. In this case, we had a million seventy thousand one hundred here. So our total cash that's available here, our beginning cash that's available, would be the hundred thousand plus our cash collections here for the period for a total one million one hundred seventy thousand one hundred dollars. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is we have to de uh, uh, subtract out all those, subtract from our available cash here all the payments that we have to make from it so we would start with a direct materials budget here we'd have to determine how much uh, we're budgeted for direct materials again for this month it was two hundred twenty three thousand one hundred dollars then we have to also know our direct labor budget how much we're ex expecting to spend on direct labor that was sixty six thousand three hundred and then for our factory overhead budget well we would have to know what that is in for both fixed and variable we had three hundred seventy two thousand six hundred dollars here 
but we have to subtract from it less any non-cash expenditures like the depreciation expense and we'll just say there's a hundred thousand there so our net amount here for our factory overhead budget for the cash that we're going to have to pay out here is two hundred seventy two thousand six hundred dollars next we have to deal with our selling and administration expenses and we've a budget our cash outflow or uh, budgeted 160000 here, but then again, we have to subtract out any non-cash expenses that we have budgeted, and let's just say there were 25000 of, of those in dollars in non-cash expenses. So the net amount here is going to give us for a selling and administration cash off, uh, cash payments that have to be made, 135000 And then from that here, then we have to take care of our income taxes. Now remember our income taxes was not on in, not included in, in any of our other budgets. So looking at our current month of March here, we have to include the first two months of the year here, January and February. And let's just say there was 200,000 here in our for income taxes for those months. And then for our current month here, March, 104,640. So our net totaling those together, our total income taxes up through March here for the first year, we've budgeted $304,640. So what we have to do here is go and take all these payments that we have to make here for direct materials, direct labor, factory overhead here in our selling and administration, and also our income taxes. We have to total those together, and, and those are going to be our payments that we made. So we got $1,001,640 uh, here in payments that we have to make. So now we can determine our excess or our deficiency. And simply we're going to take our total payments here, one million one one million dollars, one thousand six hundred forty dollars, and subtract that from the cash that we have available up here, one million one hundred seventy thousand one hundred dollars. So we're going to actually have an excess because our total payments here are less than the cash that's available. So X we have an excess of $168,460 here in cash so we're all dealing everything is then we've been dealing in cash here though so the third step here this is where we have to take care of our financing again this is not in the not included in our other budget so we'd have our borrowings we'd have to determine what's were borrowings actually that's an inflow that we're coming and we just say there was zero in this example that we've been working through then we'd have to subtract if, uh, subtract out any repayments any principal and interest that we have here for the period and in this case we had 51,500 here in principal and interest that we'd have to pay back so we would just take uh, from our borrowings here we just we've we got our excess or our deficiencies up here from based on all our payments our cash flowing in and cash outfalls for those expenditures one hundred sixty eight thousand four hundred sixty dollars then we'd have to subtract out our repay add we'd have to add in any borrowings that we have we have none for the period here but uh, so we don't add anything to it so but we have to subtract out our any repayments at fifty one thousand five hundred dollars here from one hundred sixty eight thousand four hundred sixty our excess and that's going to give us our ending cash balance here of $116,960. So that's what's sitting here in our cash budget that I have here. So there we determine our ending balance here in our cash budget. So if we go back up here, we had started with a beginning balance in our cash budget. Then we had to add in all those budgeted uh, cash collections from our sales budget here. Then we had to subtract from our total cash available here, direct materials that we have budgeted, direct, and these are caches. These are cash, but these are the cash amounts here, not the total direct materials. Just a cat, this is all based on cash here. Direct, so we have to subtract from it the direct materials, direct labor, our factory overheads, less any non-cash expenses like depreciation that we had budgeted. And then we'd also have to uh, subtract from our any of those selling and administration expenses, less any non-cash expenses, and net amounts, which you're looking at here. And then you take care of your income taxes up to the date that you're talking about. You have to subtract those out. Then you determine your total payments, as we did here. And then knowing your total outflow or your expenditure outflows here, you take it from your cash inflows or that's available and you can determine if you have any excess or deficiency in your cash amounts here. And then you have to take care of your financing. Add to your excess or deficiency any borrowings you have and then you'd have to subtract from it any repayments for fi financing repayments 
principles and interest and so forth. So then you know your excess or your deficiency here and you include any financing, any total amount here in your financing amount and there you can determine your ending cash balance. Okay, so that's pretty much how we go through here to determine a cash budget. Remember a cash budget, a cash budget if we're dealing with cash amounts here. This is total cash amounts, cash transactions. Okay, so that'll summarize our discussion here on the cash budget.